In our previous video we started building the solar arc for our sailboat. We uh, started tack welding it together, made some mistakes. We have welded everything together wrong. Oh. But got it right in the end and uh, then took it to the boat to test it and uh, all good. So now it is time to continue with the, the final welds of the arc. Uh, parts for the frame that's gonna hold the solar panels. Other small pieces that's going into the design. Looks really good. Good job. We still have two more steps of the polishing. It's a new day today, so now we're gonna continue. It really takes some time actually. It's quite a lot that needs to be welded. And we uh, added some uh, planks here at the base to make sure it doesn't uh, doesn't move in a way it shouldn't during welding. Okay, so it's all uh, welded, and uh, next step will be to start to grind down some welds, and we are also going to start to weld the frame that's going to sit on top that's going to that's going to hold uh, the solar panels. It'll be fun to see how big it is as well. Quite a nice day today. Mm -hmm. Finally yeah, nice some spring feeling. Yeah. And uh, here is... Forgot to do uh, before. But... Uh, all three toilets nice and clean. Or cleaner at least. Put them back in the boat sometime soon. Still two more steps to go. I think it turns out really good. It looks good. There, I mean, there are some small defects, but I would say it's minimal. You barely, enough. you barely see that. Good enough for us. Yeah. Okay, so another day and we're going to continue with the, with the solar arc. We have been struggling quite a lot with getting everything in position here. And that's especially trying to position the frame that's going to hold the solar panels uh, in relation to the uh, arc where the, this frame is going to be welded to. I mean, ideally, I, ideally you, would have to ha you would have a big, big flat welding table where you put everything up or on or at least a flat floor, but we don't really have that, so we try to make everything flat and measure it with our laser and uh, then just try to position everything as, as well as possible, but it's very, very difficult and, and I think I mean, our tolerances are quite small as well because the panels have quite a tight fit in this frame and if we don't really get it right, we'll, we will uh, the spacing between the panels and the frame will be not be equal. I guess we'll just try to position everything as good as possible, uh, tack weld it in place and then uh, try to, to get the panels in, in place and, and try them out. I think. We could also have the panels in place from the start, but just one small spot from the, from the weld will probably crack the glass in the, in the panels. That's why we're trying to do it without them here. These small pieces are basically because the, yeah, the frame for the panels are a bit wider than the aft uh, 
Art. Pretty big. This is where the where you will be able to stand on the boat. But you will be um, a little bit higher than uh, ground. Yeah. some monitor. I think this is gonna be awesome, right? Mm-hmm. Nice. Feels like this will uh, be uh, a very nice complement to the boat. Next step now is to make uh, the final welds, right? Yeah. I'm gonna do some more uh, attachment points as well here for the panels. We're waiting for some material. Okay, so finally everything is uh, welded on the arc, apart from a small mount for the for a lantern. So next step is to make it uh, nice and shiny by polishing everything. We will try out some different method, but mainly it will be mechanical grinding and polishing, and then we will try to use some electro polishing with a carbon fiber brush and some some acid. But more on that later when we try it. See how it works. Yeah, and apart from that, I think we are satisfied. Obviously, it's not. Not like a super nice looking uh, welds and, and uh, everything is super nice and shiny, but it will be. I mean, it will do the job and and it will be nice enough for us, I think. Mm, it will give us solar power. Yeah, the solar panels that we're gonna mount are 585 watts each. They are gigantic. I think they are like 2. Point, almost 2.3 by 1.1 meter, so that will give us a bit north of one kilowatt. Of, of the peak power and yeah, it's going to be super interesting to see how much it actually gives us but I mean with this position and we haven't any other mounts for any antennas or anything we shouldn't have uh, basically as little shading as, as you can potentially get so it's only I the mean, moss that can shade it almost yeah yeah in the wrong direction yeah so I mean a, a, apart from that so I mean they, they're really in an optimal position so it's going to be really interesting to see how much energy we can produce out of them Try to do some research, and it seems to be like a reasonable number to, to expect is like three to five times your installed power in in uh, accumulated energy over a day. So one kilowatt one kilowatt of panels in good conditions should give you somewhere between three to five kilowatt hours per day. Uh, but that's that's quite a large span. So we'll see where we end up on that one. Mm, it's going to be interesting. More evaluation later. Yeah. It's a rainy day today, so uh, we continue with some 
inside jobs and uh, after cleaning we now have uh, put uh, the two uh, tanks back in place and so we're gonna uh, start uh, uh, with the yeah, new sanitary hoses uh, for this bow part of the boat. So we use this uh, XPS foam as like a stand standoff to get a better shape against the hull. And we use this as it's quite cheap and easy to, to form. Hope it will be good enough. Yeah, we opened the, the inspection hole for one of the tanks, so we're gonna reseal it using some sanitary putty. Hope it uh, stays sealed, I guess. And then we're gonna continue uh, with the new houses and uh, from the tanks to the toilets and uh, to our pump station. And then we're gonna continue with the aft part as well because there we have still old houses. <laughs> So we're right in the middle of uh, uh, digging a new hose here. We're getting new hoses in place and uh, here it's uh, a mess underneath here. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, you're taking everything or a lot of it away now. Yeah, and uh, we we'll try to redo it because it's been very, it's been just a complete mess and very difficult to access stuff here. Time to seal it up. So now we have uh, finished the uh, hoses in the front of the bow part of the boat and uh, put all the floors back together and we're gonna continue with the aft part. So, and here we have two heads. Somewhere here, the center of all this hidden. It's gonna be quite a, quite a struggle getting this one out and uh, the new one in later on. And hopefully we'll manage. It's starting to get quite late and we're still struggling with <laughs> getting the sanity house, houses out. It's the last one, right? Yes. So we managed to get the two from the toilet and this is from the tank to the pump station. Yeah, from the off tank, yeah. We had a quite struggle with one of the toilet uh, mm. hoses and now we're struggling with this one. <laughs> they really get stuck everywhere. I mean, if it's, if it's just touching a corner, then it's then it's so much friction so you cannot pull it through it. Yeah, and there, there is liquid in them so it's not so easy just cutting them no. wherever you want. It's just because then it... Yeah. Then it leaks. Then it leaks and that's not so nice. Oh, but let's continue and see if we can get this one out as well. Made it! Last one out. Final one, just dripping some substance into the bucket. Yeah. And then now I think we're gonna go home and eat dinner. Yeah, this one was very painful. We had uh, hoped that we would get the new ones in today as well, but uh, that's not gonna happen. The no. two last ones were really difficult. Huh, ah. Really nice to have them all out at least. Yeah. Now we can start to work with the new ones, which is a bit nicer. Victory! So we managed to get all uh, the ho hoses out and uh, as mentioned earlier, we had the struggle with uh, that it is, uh, they still contain something. <laughs> we could cut everything like in pieces and take them out piece by piece, but then we risk, yeah. Although that leaking out into the boat, we, which we didn't want to. Uh, we also had this uh, like plugs, uh, orange uh, plugs that you can put into the hose, but the problem by using them as plugs was that uh, some parts, the holes are just drilled big enough for the hose so there's not much margin so we couldn't like uh, pull the hose through with that one in the hose either so we just filled that with cloth just uh, pushed it in and uh, that worked quite fine actually then we didn't have to struggle with something else being bigger than the hose and it was maybe a little bit leakage for one of the hoses but not that much yeah and now we're gonna do the final preparations for uh, putting the new hoses back. I think we're gonna clean uh, in the 
aft middle toilet a little bit before and then uh, I th think we probably will, will reroute one of the horses that was uh, it was underneath the muffler uh, quite uh, tricky to get out due to that but I think we have room to route it on the side instead cleaning 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 yes 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 so finally we got all of them uh, all of them routed just gonna cut the last one Really nice to have this done. We have the cleaned a bit, and uh, we have some hoses. So nice of putting everything back together after it's been ripped up. Four boards. Time to start a little cleaning session. And here are some that are finished and already cleaned. Much better. And here is the water part and for two of them they have uh, cracks in them probably due to they have been frozen at some point so he will have to do something about them bring the toilet back together the cleaner new seals right uh yeah at least some seals we have changed all the seals gland up here and a lip seal that it's up to the top and that's actually everything the rest we're re reusing that's and then we're hoping that they will right but these ones I and mean, for example this one is very it's just it's just a rubber element it's very easy to just cut cut one yourself the spare parts are not uh... they're crazy expensive for these <laughs> ones. spare part just for this like a seal kit it's the same price as buying a new toilet why don't we buy new toilets? <laughs> I don't know, we hope these ones work. I yeah. think they're nice. Yeah, because we didn't buy the expensive. Yeah, the toilets are nice. And let's hope uh, they work. They're supposed to be very good as well, so... Yeah. Moment of truth. It's probably not enough to fill it up. Just put together two, two more. 